Okay, let's see here. Early tournament today. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 Literally only one essay in this tournament. Okay, now this is a bop. I love this one. What Toho would I main? I already, uh... I already have a main. Okay, I don't. I think we're just about ready to start. Tokyo Saturday afternoons. Weird, man. Feels weird starting a tournament at this time. I mean, if you couldn't guess from my channel icon, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and... What else am I out to do here? Okay, 
then let's do it. Tournament is go. Oh, I forgot to put event news on the Silk or Saturday announcement. I forgot to put event news on the tournament announcement. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh wait, dang. Okay, hold up, hold up. Before we start the tournament, I want to give you a little bit. I got, I gotta tell you a little bit. Okay, so I have to give you the the character matchup for this week's for the Border of Duel announcement will come at the end of the game. But before we do that, I gotta give you the characters. Okay, so. Food for thought. Who are the characters in this in this week's BOD? Gonna give you that teaser. Cause I know you need it. Okay, hold up. Oh, I have to do this in versus player. My bad. Practice EX is a little annoying. <laughs> okay, okay. VOD promo. BOD promo. It's coming. Give me a sec. Okay, let's see here. What the heck is my stream thingy? I close this. Okay, um, let's bring this back. So, we got Border of Duel characters. It's going to be some Yuko versus some Iku. Disregard the countries, it should be back to the default. There we go. Okay. I mean, I don't know who it is. Well, actually, I do know it is, but you don't know who it is, so I'm gonna leave you to guess. Okay. Now, tournament time. Let's get on this. Our first match. How about, uh... Regeki versus Rusty? Or some, maybe, maybe... No, I want to see Decoy. I want to see Decoy. I'm gonna be biased.
dread to see. Oh, okay. Okay, so. Omachi versus, uh... Okay. Are they having connection issues, or is it just me? Am I desync? Yeah, it looks like I'm desync. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because I ended a game on River Myth. Let me just try again. Okay. Cop back up to the present. I'm decent still. Maybe I'm using like desync fix and it's breaking my game. Twice in a row. I should go back to the old DC fix. Okay, I'm caught up. This looks like this looks like gameplay. Okay, Nico actually won the first round. That's pretty good. You know, Komachi has a pretty good matchup against Oku in general. Like this is probably one of the best Komachi matchups. Nice with nice punish there, but no no full combo. Could have killed Decoy off that. Puts on the visor. Decoy is like no spirit. Got to get away. Gets out of there, and Geki gets the far a close A. Oh, and a good snipe by uh, Peachy right there. Get the first, second round, I mean. Because he missed the first one. Okay, nice. Instant air 2 3 6. Get the. Such a sneakily fast move to use to punish people hitting buns on the ground. Oh, no. Not optimized. But uh, the fundamentals are there. Peachy, Peachy has a knockdown. Doing some pressure. Catches Decoy with the frame trap on the dial A3. Decoy in the corner trying to get out of there, but Pichu has him stuck. Wrong block, charge A. Wrong block, charge 6A to charge 3A. Decoy just holding on for dear life with nice defense. Gets out of there without barely, with not even getting crushed. Okay. Tried to go for a crazy catch with that four card. Pichu does block it. He's in. It's a knockdown here. Has the corner yet again. Decoy gonna get out. Has his turn. Oh, but River Mist pushes him out. That's not going to connect, though. Nice punish there. Oh, but does it get the combo off of the 2-3-6? Gets it here, though. Decoy finally has a knockdown, but can he turn it into the game? Goes for the 6-6-B. Six, six Get the surprise low. Forces Pichu into the air. Gets the J5A counter hit. And catches him with the 2-3-6 on the Tech Mash. Okay, game two. Pichu suffering that loss to Decoy. I have actually not seen Decoy play in tournament before, so this is a new experience. But he's doing well. This is a, a different, this is an opportunity for a lot of players that don't usually get to play in Sokuset. You know, you play, play in Sokuset, because the timing is a little bit different today, so. Everyone's getting a chance to show their stuff. Oh, that's an unfortunate misinput for Decoy. They're gonna take so much damage for that. 2.3. And a cross up here. Boy. Stuck in the corner now. Charge 6A gonna get the crush. Still under pressure, but he mashes out with that 63. Very fast move. Still not out of the woods yet. Pichu getting the air unblockable 3A. Decoy in a lot of trouble. Runs right into the default 63. And uh, Pichu getting back into this game. 
Nice, catching the jump with the close eight. Has the knockdown. Another cross up. Pichu has been getting those consistently on decoys, Hex. And they are you know, adding up to a lot of damage. This Mega Flare is going to bring a very low spear. Gets the crush on the 6A. Another knockdown. Decoy getting that Kangeki off. Saving himself for pressure. Nice spacing on the 236, but gets the trade with the 63. The laser. And Pichu gets just the jump with the 4A right there. Decoy on very low HP. Trying to land cancel the 236, but he missed spaces his landing. Actually ended up floating in the air right there, and that was very, very risky to go for when Oak is dashing at you. Ended up being his downfall right there. And Pichu ties the set up. Okay. Game number three. Pichu's matching out right there with that 4A gets the knockdown. Breaking up Dequist pressure. Gets the 6-6A six, six there. Walks right in. He's resetting more pressure. Spring Haze all the way there though, so Decoy can dash out. They're going right back to neutral. Everyone's gonna try to land those melees. Drain that spirit. Just play it safe. Spring Haze will subside. Nice 3A from Pichu right there. Definitely getting those anti airs down. Decoy trying to swing right there. He's gonna get cornered. Close to low spirit. Forces out the BE, but nice catch from Pichu catching. Making him have to respect that in the air. And here we go, right back in the corner. But Pichu getting hit with that far air right there. Now it's Decoy's turn. Tried to back BE. Decoy had an opportunity to get a combo right there. He has one right here. Going for the reset, but he misses the J6A, unfortunately. 6 6 though. He's in there, has the ghosts up. Chases him into the air, gets the counter hit. Oh, but can't get those knockdowns. And that's going to be... A loss on the round for Decoy. Could not keep his momentum. He could not finish those combos. You know that it's a huge detriment. Wow, he just waited in far eight at the beginning of the game. So far, so good for Decoy here. But the forward BE on the dial A3. Nice stagger from Decoy. Cross up jump A. I see you. Going for the 63 right there. Gets a one hit. Unfortunately, doesn't get the full spin cycle. Doing. Per well in this round, catching those dash-ins. Just swinging that far and spacing it right. Well, now Pichu's in. This is where things start to look bad for Komachi. This is definitely crush, guaranteed. Oh wait, no, I miscounted the orbs. I guess Pichu did too. Thought that would definitely crush, but it didn't. Do in though. Still one wrong block away from getting the crush. But nice dash out from Decoy and he's gonna burn the meter? No, he's not. He's gonna hold that card. Wait for his opportunity. There's nothing gonna use it here now. No, he saves it again! Uh, that would've killed! Okay, okay. But he gets the jump A there for the counter hit, and catches Pichu hitting buttons. He gets to save his meter for round three. So let's see how this will fit go. Okay, try to get those 2-3-6s to get those punishes on the anti ears, but Pichu gets the 6-C right here. Crosses up Decoy yet again. He's gonna convert into that spell card for some substantial damage. Decoy in the corner now. Okay, on the defensive, tries to BE, but gets caught in the same way with that jump 8A. Another knockdown. Oh, but here comes Decoy. Oh, doesn't get the tech catch. He was looking for that. Another cross-up. He seems to be getting mixed every single way on those forward techs. Nice jump 236 right there. Oh, big CH. No conversion for Pichu, but he has the crush there. Doesn't get the full combo. Decoy at very low HP. He's blocking in the corner. There's the visor. And that's gonna crush. It's game. 2-1 in the favor of Pichu. Okay. Okay, let's do Regiki Regisi versus Moria, I guess. 
Regisi, <laughs> that's his name now. Crazy to see two pages of hosts. That's very that's very rare. Oh, actually, no. This is Registry versus Moria. I mean, not Moria. Um, who's playing him right now? Registry against. This is Rusty. Rusty. Yes. He should be playing Moria. Wait a second. What? <laughs> I think Rusty joined the wrong host. No, no, no. It, no, the, no, the host list is wrong. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the host list is wrong. It, is, it hasn't updated. Okay, so Registry Racing. Moria. As you go, winner's round to go. Okay, so Racing versus Yuko, fun matchup. If your name is Racing, because you are in the some short tech range, and that makes Sphere Bloom very, very dangerous. Okazeme, now Moria is definitely bringing Sphere Bloom to the racing matchup because he knows that is very strong against racing. Of course, still got to execute it, and Registry it hasn't gotten mixed to death yet. But so far, the neutral from Moria definitely blowing up Registry right now because he cannot get anywhere in this uh, in the neutral game right now. Just consistently getting put into bad situations and Moria is just capitalizing so hard. Gets the, accidentally uses the card right there. That was probably a mistake. Nice 2v. Good right to see. Still alive. Has a pressure string right here. And immediately 2A into dash 2A for Moria catching her just see off guard and taking the first game. Moria takes it to his house, you know. Yuko stage. Nice cross up, J6A. We got those, even on racing. Oh, the 2A. Scary move. Crush. Going right into the two card. One card, I mean. Doesn't get the full combo. But, man, this corner control is so strong for Moria right now. Getting the crush and another knockdown. And, you know, Regisi just can't play right now. He just can't find anywhere to go. Okay, finally getting up and around, but it runs right into the 6C bullet, and uh, Registry getting perfected by Moria right there. Moria taking care of business. This is a showcase right now. This is as single player as Soku gets. Another knockdown. Catches the jump out attempt, and Registry is just gonna get knocked down again. Spear Bloom setup. Backdash 66A and another crush. <laughs> Cross up. But, oh, but it's blocked by Regisy. This is going to give him an opportunity, but immediately Moria is coming down with the tech jump A. We go back to neutral, which has been where Moria shines, especially when Regisy has two crushed orbs, but he has a knockdown here. Let's see if he can get something started. Let's see, looking for an opportunity, but the jump 8A. And that is game. That was very fast. I blinked and I missed it. Jeez. It's more you guys. Pretty sick. More you guys. Pretty sick. <laughs> They're pretty good.
Tonic is here. Now you're here. Why are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing? You're not showing up until right now, dude. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to do some TO things right now. Reopen this match here. Next match. I want to see Kane versus No Name. Did they start already? I think so. Not gonna confirm. Big punish, blazing star. Whee! We're gonna see Moria versus Ruby this later. name hitting. Okay, this is game three. by no name right there. Doesn't get the full knockdown though. And he gets J6 aid. They are unblockable. GB doesn't quite fully connect. Oh wow, that was a goofy jump A. Rather spring haze though. Gotta be careful about where you place those buttons. Oh, and a charge 6A from no name. The legendary. Oh, 6 6 c swat him out of the air. Big damage opportunity, but no name does not burn the meter. Kane trying to try to get out, but gets chased down. Oh, but Kane finds the J2C. Has a knockdown and drizzle. Goes down the three card to stay safe. No name. Gets sniped by that 236 from long range. Goes for the DP. I don't think Kane can kill from this. Not quite. He needed a little bit more. Nice block from no name. Oh, but the jump A does not connect. Backwards. He was not in the range to hit that. And that's going to be... Round one for No Name. Very close match between these two, though. Going down to the last hit. That's a knock. That's pressure here. Throw on that one card, three card. Oh, catches No Name trying to hit the, the reversal three card. Does not get the iframes in time. Okay. So far, Kane doing a pretty good job of controlling the neutral against No Name. Respecting a lot of that, uh... Nice pressure. I like it. Okay, but No Name's gonna escape with that fast Marisa dash. Kane putting, trying to put him right back in, but No Name, little short. Oh, the ha big whiff on the Hangeki. Did he block the two three six? The two, I mean the the Broom Ride too. Didn't get anything from that. GTC gonna punish. There's Kane with the pressure in the corner. And this time gets the knockdown. Okay, No Name with the snipe. He's gonna close right in there. It's his turn. Goes for the low 3A. The border escape forced out. Kane going to get out of the corner. 
but gets knocked down by that two by that five five C. Here we go. Pressure time. B E. Oh, tried to chase the anti guy the anti or the DP, but he gets loses after the bullet. Another DP attempt for Nona, and that time it works. B E from Kane. It's knocked down here. Oh, he texts. It's going to cause a Typhoon, definitely. Oh, wait, but no name just comes out swinging with the wake up 6214. Goes right over the 66B. This is, though, a crucial knockdown for Kane. If he gets one hit, he can convert into a four card. That's going to do it. I don't even know if he reacted whether he got that crush or not, but he bet it all right there, and it worked out. 1-1, one, one, last game, last round between Kane and no name. Combo right here. Let's see what Kane's got is the Oki. Okay. Oh, tried to fake it out, but No Name calls it out. Just goes right in for the mutton. <laughs> Both sides flying for position. Kane gets a nice J two A C H here. Has the corner. No, what a block on that jump eight A from No Name. Allow it to hit a lot of people. That's a big health recovery situation here with the heavy fog. Oh, here comes No Name. Catches. That's gonna be a nice conversion as well. The health is swinging even more in No Name's favor as the heavy flux subsides. Kane's gonna have to make a very big comeback here. He does not have a lot of meter to work with either. Cow, okay, we pulled this off. That's not gonna be tight. He catches No Name anyway. But the weather says Typhoon. Blocks the DP. Oh, he doesn't manage to change the weather. That's so unfortunate. What is Kane going to do? He has to stay alive for 55 counts of that weather timer. No name, not making a huge effort to try and chase him down. Only a few counts left. Oh, the 214 will take him out and that's going to be game as Kane falls to no name two to one. Okay, so next match we're gonna have a uh, Moria versus Ruby. Patchouli versus Yuko. Battle of the perfect flyers right here. Moria hey, building up a pretty big lead in the start of this game, but Ruby's not out of it yet. Oh, Ruby had no spirit. This is in a bad spot to be in. Above Patch, above Moria. Oh man, the damage. Moria is out putting the DPS onto Ruby right now. Ruby not getting much of a chance to retaliate because Moria is just getting that hit and just Pushing his offense so far, and Ruby does not have any time to recover. And he just takes a grid snipe with that 2 3 6, but finally getting some space with that 2 3 6 fireball. And Ruby can start to get some corner game going. The preemptive reversal against Moria 2A. Now he has got some pressure, an opportunity. Oh, but Moria holding on to that four card reversal. Gotta be careful. Pressure. He's baiting out that four card. He knows that he can't just deal with it and do normal pressure. Okay, but Moria burns the meter on that one card, gets the 6-6-C, I mean, J6-A cross-up and converts with the 6-6-C to take the round. 
before Ruby could even know what was going on after that. Knockdown, that was uh, some great Okazeme right there. Okay, so game number two, Ruby getting something started here in the beginning, getting the first hit onto Moria, but Moria now has the corner. Nice J2A right there. Can't get the full conversion from it, though. Ruby got to watch his spirit. Moria's trying to, starting to close in, but he finds the jump A here. Pressure time. Nice J6A to get those wrong blocks, catching <laughs> Moria all the way to the top of the screen. Now he's got some momentum to work with. Moria already down about 60%. Nice block on that 6-6A. Oh, but this is big damage. And Ruby's got, looking like he's recovering from that loss, working on a good first round here. Oh, but he gets hit with the J2A, and now it's Morgan's turn, but he does not get the Yoki. Ruby's going to have some space to work with. Harvester as the anti-air. Good answer. You might get a combo after it. Yes, he does. Very good damage from a reversal starter. And now he's got that corner control going, catching Moria with the summoned swords. <laughs> catching and taking that first round of the set but immediate j2a starter for moria he's gonna convert into 2.7 plus with that poison doing some chip damage as residual that's at least 3,000 damage grazes right through that 623 and wow punishes hard moria with a very big lead here and it's only been a few seconds into that round this is a yuyuko damage output spring haze now the weather ruby's gotta be careful Got not a lot of spirit and HP to work with. Finds the knockdown here with the J6A. See what he can do. Can't catch the wake up. Moria trying to get something started here. But the weather heavy fog won't even matter. One, one in rounds, but one zero in games. Moria, well, match point now. Dangerous card call for Ruby, but he doesn't get punished that hard. But man, Mori is so aggressive on catching those air techs. Catching the back dash. Burning the four card. Patchouli does have easy ways to avoid this, but Ruby might not get the chance. Okay, no. So he gets the 63 off, but he's going to get punished for it. It is less than taking the 4k from letting it explode on you, though. Nice BE catch, and that's going to be game. Moria just steamrolling his competition. Moving forward in the bracket. Can anyone stop this fighting machine? His next match will be against Aquatic. Aquatic who would just beat Alrisk. Okay, I want to see Regisee versus Icicle next. Wait, did we already watch Regisee today? Maybe we should watch someone else. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is fine. We can watch losers. Just let losers catch up a bit. 
So, uh... Icicle versus Regisee. Icicle plays Nico. I think Icicle on like three different characters, I swear. Icicle is using Spear Bloom too, it's in his deck. But yeah, I've seen Icicle on like three different characters. I think the setup is Spear Bloom Backdash. I don't know the timing, but I see Backdash more than Back Jump. I think it's because uh, Race's tech is so short that Backdash covers it. Nice basic save. Regisee definitely tired of Yuiko by now. He's like, this again? <laughs> This again? Leave me alone! <laughs> River Mist, alright. I just he has the meter to the Kal Kalo, I feel like. With a big Lunatic Blast. A good Lunatic Blast confirm can kill from here. Might not get the chance though. Guys are boxing it out. The neutral gets the jump A here. No knockdown. Oh, not enough untech for that four, two card to connect. Typhoon on the clock, and there it goes. Who's going to win this Typhoon? Oh boy. Down on the wire, I think they're just gonna let it chill. Off. Oh, this should do it. No, oh, no conversion, but gets the crush. And 2A6A. Okay, knockdown. Nice stuff from Icicle. Got the conversion going. Nice match from her to see though. Disrespecting at the perfect time. Doesn't want to eat any of that Yuko pressure. Basic say though. That's it. Strong air to air. There's a catch. Okay, here you go. Fuzzies. <laughs> He's got some pressure strings. Tries to checkmate him, but does not get the block confirm on the 2-3-6, so Ellery is just going to be grazed. Five cards down the drain for Regisee, but he's still got some tricks up his sleeve. Oh, the mash out from Icicle. Three cards. He already has him blocked and gets the crush. The limit's on its own. Press the crush with the spear bloom, and that's game. I'm guessing this is like the the Yuyuko, the Yuyuko day today. It says I'm playing Triangle Strategy and not Toho. Really? I thought I changed that. Oh, it does say I'm playing Triangle Strategy. You're right. My bad. Hopefully not too many people came here expecting Triangle Strategy. <laughs> Where's my producer? I need I need some tech excuse me, stream technicians. Meanwhile, we're just he's working on the, a good round here. Close to victory. Just leads one hit. 6-6-A, six, six, gotta do it.
Here it is. Okay, doesn't get the knockdown or the conversion into LRE, but you see, he's been winning neutral a lot more in this game. But here's Icicle. Getting some nice pressure. Catching the BE. Gets the poison. There was another one, you know, just cuz. I think we're just burning own cards. Like it's nothing. Just throw that meter at him. Wow, well, that backwards jump A. Oh, but Riven is gonna make the combo drop. Ooh, here we go. Pressure. Oh, nice blocks from Regisee. Okay. Nice pressure from Icicle. The B reset. Another knockdown. It causes Typhoon though. Let's see what Regisee can survive it. He's got no spirit to work with. But Icicle is not pushing very hard. Regisee though is eating a lot of bullets. Let's say with punish. Nice jump out. But that's a reversal. A very fast one at that. Catches. I just see not blocking right there. And match point for Icicle now. Counter it, jump A. Knockdown. No Oki. J6A is going to catch. Here's Icicle. Oh, gets anti aired. Oh, what? Seems that Regency does not have those racing combos down yet. Oh, gets like raw mind explosion catch. That's a lot of damage. I think LRE might be in range. Depending on the confirm, of course. I'm going to, uh, wait. I mean, need to call some matches. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But meanwhile, more Icicle wins. 2-0. I need to queue some matches for stream. Etrian is playing against No Name right now, I believe. That set is close to over. I would hope. Okay, this is the first game, I think, actually. Okay.
I gotta roll. to this. Let me switch the overlay. I should not subject you to mini view. Why is this weird? Here, let me edit this. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> you think the gravity beat? Nice block on that cross with them, no name. The quick reactions, but not quick enough to avoid that. And that's gonna be the game and the set, I believe. Because that's two free Jiren, right? I feel like Ichiren usually wins the no name matchup. Okay. Let's see next. Pichu versus Ichiren, then Moria. Okay. Pichu and Ichiren wait until Moria and Aquatic finish. Okay, so. Aquatic versus Moria. updated the overlay names. So who is playing? Aquatic and Moria. So they got that good old Yuko versus Racid matchup yet again. But this time we got Aquatic versus Moria. Moria's got that matchup experience for sure. Or at least he knows how to do spear bloom setups. So let's see how Aquatic will fare on the defense. So he's got Two coins, three hunk kick. He's trying to get himself out of this pressure, but Moria does not need Fear Bloom to make life hard for Racing, it seems, as Aquatic is already down quite a bit of HP. But it's not over yet. Aquatic has some space to work with the neutral, trying to get around that 6C bullet. Okay, blocks a 6-6C. Has a, some pressure, gets a crush. Another one. 
That's a raw. Oh, but he misses the re-jump. That's unfortunate because you, you really needed that knockdown. Gets the Hangeki here. This is big. The pressure on Moria. Coin BE to get out. Now Kodak in the corner. Gotta get out of there. Gets the BE. Flies up and over. Ritual being played, but Moria just not letting anyone through his airspace. That 2C jump A combination so brutal as he takes the first round, but it wasn't without a good fight, and, you know, Aquatic holding on, but gets crushed here on the defense. You cannot block forever, especially not against this guy. Fear Bloom, nice coin and blue escape to get out of that, because that would have definitely crushed, but, oh, that's a crush right here. Down three orbs, Aquatic. Risks it all on the jump out, gets his way out of that pressure, and this is big, because, you know, that could have easily snowballed into the round. That's gonna crush right there. No pickup after the crush, but four orbs down, five orb break. Things not looking good for our friend Aquatic. Gets crushed again. Five. There's no options. You guess wrong, you're dead. He's got to jump out. Gets hit by the jump 8A. He's recovered a second orb. Gets crossed up right there. 6 6 B. Moria got to put up the three card Oki and hits Aquatic right into it. That short tech roll on. Rayson just not helping Aquatic right there as Moria takes the second round there with a perfect. And yeah, Moria continues to run all over this tournament so far. Aquatic making the swap from Rayson to Yomu. How will his... I have not seen Aquatic play much Yomu. See how it works. So far, it does not seem like it's helping him much. Moria is in control, but Aquatic finds a 6 6 has a Sun Shower Pressure opportunity right here. Catching Moria again. They can't give her off the crush. Nice block, but that, J that J6A low air is plus. The plus 10 kick, as the, as the Yomu means like to call it. Oh, Dash is right under that J6, J6A. <laughs> Charge 3A DP, the classic gets a little jab after it. Nice J6A. Aquatic is actually doing a lot better with this Yomu. I've undersold how much of a difference this is making. So far, so good. Gets the catch on the 2C. Can't convert. But that would have almost done it. J6A loses to the jump 5A from Moria. But Moria can't convert from that distance. Now Aquatic's got to live on the defense here. He is definitely trying to duffer out that DP. But he missed timed it. And he's going to go down. Match point for Moria. Can he take care of business here? The DP from Aquatic. Definitely making a difference. Having a DP versus not having a DP. That was not what he wanted though. Using a DP and pressure like that. Definitely cost him a lot of momentum. But the 6 6 and wake up is going to trade here. But nice laser on Moria to get that. Respect from full screen. And the pressure. Just fading but. Seems that Moria just has control of this game. But here's Aquatic. Gets the cross. One. Oh, misses the Rekkas. Doesn't get the 6 6 Gets punished for it instead. That's a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. He's down to a last sliver of HP. Can Aquatic survive? He's not even going to get the chance to blow up because the J6C was right there waiting for him. And that's going to be the end of the set. Moria taking another and a strong performance there. 2-0 over Aquatic. And that's gonna be another win for Moria as he moves on to the top eight on the winner's side. He's gonna be in grand finals. He's gonna be in winner's finals, sorry. I haven't showed you the bracket yet. I could fill out one for you right now. Give me a bit. Okay, so. Moria. 
robotic. Okay. Long awaited bracket update. Anyways, next stop on this tournament is going to be Ichiren versus Pichu. Players are getting ready. Okay, I think they're already in match. Here we go. Let's do it. This is uh, the first time I've ever seen Pichu play against Ichiren. This is going to be a little bit different. New experience here. But I'm sure that Ichiren knows how to play the Oku matchup. Apparently, all of the Russian players play Oku. Wow, he's starting off with a big 4K. Never mind. I don't think it's going to matter how much matchup experience he has if he's going to take that much damage for losing an interaction. Oh, goodness. Pichu. We just started, and Nitrin's already 60-80% dead. <laughs> One touch away from death now. Back BE. Oh, chase down from Nitrin. But, it's still a one-hit game. Like a 4 a counter it kills Nitrin right now. Gotta be careful. But here's the killing doll. Oh my god, Pichu tried to attack. Ate the killing doll, but he doesn't really care, because he knows... He just needed one hit, and he gets it right there with that 4A to punish the jump 8A, and that's going to be round one to Pichu. Very fast-paced game here. 3A. Not enough beater for the Giga Flare yet, but one next next 3A? Okay, the one after this is going to be a Giga Flare, and Ethereum might be feeling that a lot. No, but the tech catch. Now Ethereum knows those setups. Got to understand that. Oku isn't the only character that is dangerous to tech against, because, you know, Sakuya 3A, also a menace of an air unblockable. Right now, Ichirin with the health lead. But, you know, with the meter in hand, that's not a very big health lead, especially if Pichu can land that Giga Flare. He knows that 3A, 4A counter hit, a lot of combos lead into it. But I think Ichirin's also in kill range for that f Soul Sculpture, so we'll see. Might be some 6-6 B fishing in the future. Okay, Pichu's gonna burn the meter on the big card for the momentum. Close to crushing. Pichu finds his way out. Gets the J6A counter hit. Can't convert too far away. Air unblockable 6-6A, but can't get the conversion from it. Pichu taking his turn. Tried to get the Mega Flare off, but Ichirin was ready. He's gonna punish with the raw soul sculpture to take the round. Though. PQ. Be starting off this round confidently, getting a nice knockdown here. Already 50% down on Ichirin starting this mound. But. He 
Pichu's not down yet. Still fighting, but you no, know, Pichu doesn't need that much more to win this game. Pichu's finding those hits, but not getting those knockdowns that he needs for Sakia to function. There's heavy fog in that illness recovery card will help him get back into this game, but okay, this is crucial. That's a knockdown. Decides not to go for the Oki card, instead using the healing charm to try to even this out. But he loses the HP immediately to Pichu's pressure. Okay, this will be a knockdown here. No, goes for the reset, and it's gonna work out for him. This is the setup into the kill it private square. With Punish is here. Not a very optimized combo. Could have done way more damage, but here's a killing doll. Catches the flight with the jump A day, and Ichiran brings it back from the brink. To take the game. Pichu tried to mash in that private square. Ichirin was more than ready for it. <laughs> and he punished it easily. Okay, on to game number two. We'll see how things will change. Pichu with the aggressive graze, but nice. Back dash from Pichu, but oh, wow, that J6A from Mitrin just coming in there. Such a menacing button. Hard to avoid when Saki can just fly in with that big ass J6A. Okay, this is a big damage coming low. 3.7, and suddenly this is looking a lot more even. The Hangeki, though, from Mitrin going to relieve that pressure, get him some space, reset the situation. J6A gonna land right here. Pichirin chasing down the 6-6-B. Not gonna hit, but Pichu tries to go for the obvious bait into the perfect bait and eats it. Oh no. Well, y'all gotta do it to them, Pichirin. <laughs> he set that up like three days in advance. Oh, the high profile from the 4A right there coming in clutch for Pichu. It's the 6 6 a can't cancel it in anything though. Big 4A. Decides not to burn the Giga Flare. Just gonna save that meter. Charge 6A. Oh, the 4A! That should kill, actually. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Pichu still in this. But still match point for each one regardless. 3A. Giga Flare! That's 4K. 4.5. Just starting off the round, and it's going to be a big advantage for Pichu. Bates out the private perfect fade, but he actually can't punish it here. But still gets the crush, and he's gonna get some another knockdown. Can't get the Oki right on Ichirin though. Ichirin with the chance to bring it back, but he's gonna have to work very hard. He's got a lot of meter to work with though. Not an impossible comeback, but. Ooh, that 3A. Not gonna lose to any 6A right there. Pichu gets the corner, gets the 3A counter hit, and finishes it off with a jump 8A, and that's going to be game two. Okay, big four ACH. After Ichiran dropping the combo, Pichu just swinging right back. And it's his turn now. It's his game to play. Charge 6A, respectful. Ichiran doesn't get the punish. And Pichu just staying in the advantageous position. Has the corner, but that 2B from Ichiran forcing Pichu out. So far, it seems that Pichu can't seem to play around that J6A also as Ichiran converts and gets a knockdown. Pichu hitting a lot of buttons, burning a lot of HP. Okay, that 3 is not going to be tight. Oh, and Ichirin not playing around that 3 card very smartly. Eats uh, some damage. The weather says Typhoon. Pichu techs. The weather's still Typhoon. Bates out. Oh, but this is a big hit. Uh, 3.2, but not enough. The cross up, though. He spaced himself perfectly to hit that forward tech and make it ambiguous. Ich you go. And that's going to be match point for Pichu now. Forward tech against Oku, always so dangerous. She can cross up just by existing. Her sprite's so wide, it's just hard to tell where you are sometimes. And right now, that costed each in the round. Okay, Pichu has the momentum right now. 
Get some big crucial hits against Ichiran. That's 6P coming in. Getting some big hits here. But it's not. But Ichiran has the Oki cards. If he can get that hit like this, he can definitely start turning things around. But he doesn't get the knockdown. Okay, gets another jump 8A. Oh, up in the air, but still not getting that knockdown. And Pichu comes right with that jump A. And suddenly, it's a one-hit game for Ichiran, who has to be super careful. One wrong move into a 3-8. It's over for him. Okay, that's not a re- that's Oh, he misses the reset! Oh no, you gotta feel bad for Ichiran. What the six? The three card doesn't connect. Ichiran is just gonna go for a Hail Mary Private Square to try to turn the momentum by any means necessary. Pichu's gonna try to block up here. Can he survive? Ichiran has the corner, but Pichu just knows he needs one hit of the A button to win the game. The charge 3A doesn't hit connect! The chase away is gonna catch the BE! Is this enough to kill? Yes! It is! And Ichiran with the clutch game right there! He's still alive. Last game, last round. Big, big J6A. Oh man, Pichu's gotta be... You gotta stay in this if you're Pichu. That loss of the game was just so demoralizing to come so close and to fall just short, but he's back in this. Oh, the Hangeki trades with the Hell Geyser. That's perfect opportunity for Pichu right here. He has the corner, but that 5B keeping him out. Back to the neutral full screen. The 4A counter hit, but the Monsoon is gonna mess that combo up. Big 3A whiff, not going to be a connection into a full combo for Pichu. He's gonna eat a punish for that 6C. Oh. Pichu baiting out the reversal. He knows Pichu has it. The 6-6-B six, six, not going to finish that combo. J6-A connects. Killing Doll. Pichu's going to be able to jump away from this. Here's Ichiran with the pressure. B-E up for Pichu. Gets the jump 8-A. Another knockdown. And here's a Killing Doll. Pichu's got to hold on. Going into the private square. Pichu still has to hold on. He's baiting out the reversal. He knows it's there. Catches the B-E. But Pichu does not... Get comboed. Oh, that 4 counter is going to be huge, but not enough to turn the game around just yet. Pichu has the meter to try to win this, but no, it's not going to catch. I mean, it's not going to matter as Pichu falls to that J6 save from Ichiran, and that's going to be the end of the set as Ichiran takes it two games to one. Tragic. <laughs> Pichu was just this close from upsetting Ichirin, but it was not to be. Not today. They got that instant replay. Up in here. to see it happen. This is how close he was to winning the entire set. <laughs> this is how close he was. <laughs> BG's hitbox. <laughs> this is how close he was. He was pixels away from winner's finals. <laughs> issue TBH. <laughs> Look how active it is. Oh, it is just and the rest is history. <laughs>
Okay. That was fun. So, Ichiren takes this 2-0. 2-1, I mean, sorry. And we're gonna have Moria versus Ichiren in the winner's final. But, we still got some losers to play before we get there. So, Alrisk beat Ruby here. So, uh, we're gonna have Pichu versus Ruby. And right next, I think this is No Name versus Kenet. I believe they are currently playing. Okay. Okay, so this is still the first game. And right now, No Name dominating Kenet right now. But, uh... Tenchi does do high damage. It's not an impossible comeback. No Name's DP is not level. He just gets kicked out of it. 3.2? Man, there's two more of those. The game's over. Man, we gotta be careful. It's crush? Oh, not quite, but the 6 6 frame traps! Oh my gosh, Kenneth is actually bringing it back! It's a one combo game now. Nice coin. But the 6 b catches from full screen! And Kenneth gets the full screen kill! Oh my gosh. Kenneth, you're so good. Kenneth, you're so good. <laughs> Okay, was really getting connecting right there. Good stuff. Oh, and the 6 <laughs> catching that high jump. No names. Got to start respecting Tenchi. Okay, but Sprinkle, he's got his DP. It's online. Okay. Far A conversion. Nice knockdown for a no name here. Oh, but. Can it brings out that T36? The bullet deleter. Oh, but no one just dashes in right at the broom ride. Here you go. No GB cancel. Can it? Down, but again, not out. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. That 3A is gonna do it, and no name takes round one here. 3 6 b Can it has the corner by the 6 6 b from <laughs> no name? This breaks that up immediately. Right now, no name in a pretty good spot. <laughs> okay. Nice and there, yay. Quick setups. Oh, forcing out a lot of BEs from No Name. Kenneth already has two orbs broken, and that's a third border escape. No Name just can't keep spamming that. A crush with the full screen quake. Thinks this is actually super scary if you're No Name. And what the sun shower will help his orbs recover, but he won't. He'll still have to guess. And I think this is gonna be the end of the round as Kenneth just completely takes No Name to town in the corner right there. Whew. Sometimes that Tenchi pressure just is too strong. Okay, nice graze through by No Name. Gets the jump A-Day, only one hit. The backwards connection right there. Oh, but Nick kind of just goes right in there. Resetting. It's far A, not gonna get any combo from it. Oh, 2A, 2B, not gonna connect right there, but No Name just struggling to get anything done in neutral, but finds the 6 6 eight here. This is big for him. Close to a crush, did not get it. Kenneth's going to be able to escape, but oh, he eats the lingering hitbox on the ground stardust. That's a huge hit. Oh, man, this is a big punish. No name going for the broom ride and gets blocked. Did not have his uh, 
Luminous Strike to make it safe, and No Name catch it, getting caught on the jump. Kenneth is not close to taking it. Oh, No Name's gonna be able to escape there, mistiming the setup. He's got one more chance if you're a No Name, you have to make this count. That's a 6 6 B. That's the Diamond Dust Knockdown. This is the best possible scenario if you're No Name, but he just can't seem to finish the job here. Let's Kenneth escape. 6 6 is gonna whiff. It can't, it's gonna capitalize. This should be enough to kill. No, he goes for the dial A ender. That's not gonna be enough. No name's still alive. It's gonna make a miracle comeback to come back if you're no name, but it's not. Can't give up if you're here because this is match point for Kennet. No name not switching to Master Spark. Oh. Ed Kennet's gonna blast through that 5B with the 2 3 6, and that's gonna be it. I was about to say, No Name had a lot of opportunities to crush if he had switched to Master Spark, but he's still focused on landing GB, so, you know, the, the pressure opportunity was not there. He's looking for the combo, but he couldn't open him up, so, you know, it happens. Kenneth's gonna take it 2 0. He's gonna move on in the bracket. His next opponent's gonna be Aquatic. Kenneth versus Aquatic will be fun. Okay, so I think Pichu is playing Allers right now. This is game three, currently. This is 1-1. One, one. We have not been able to catch hours today. You know. So. But he could be eliminated right here. Gotta, gotta respect. Oh no, that ended up even worse for him. <laughs> Set up. Okay, this forces the escape. Alris just runs right back into the visor. Oh man, not looking good if you're Alris. One more opening and that's it. Oh wait, but the heavy flag's gonna give Alris some chances if he can get some openings as he finds the J6A right here. Okay, good stuff. No punish. But that's gonna be plus. You gotta respect that. Oh, that's a huge drop! Oh no! <laughs> Alaris lost all that advantage and I think he's dead. Oh man. You hate to see it happen. You hate to see it happen. Pichu wins that set, actually. It was 2-1 to one in Pichu's favor, so Pichu's gonna be in loser semis. He's gonna be top 4. Alrisk. Pichu. Alrisk 2-2-1 two, two, Pichu. And Pichu's gonna be in the loser semis. There we go. Now, Aquatic versus Kinet. That's the next match. Next featured match. Does that actually combo? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not a racing expert. I would assume it combos if you have enough untech, but maybe the starter was too long. <gasps> or he's just slightly too far away. Soku's finicky like that. I 
Okay, let's go into that. So we're at top six now. This is Peachy's redemption arc. He's been playing really well today. Top four, pretty impressive. He had some good wins. That get, that win against Aorus is legit. Aorus is a legit good player, so you know, he's on the up and up. Okay, so, can it getting started here against Aquatic with a big combo. <laughs> Aquatic has to, having to deal with these high damage characters today, you know. Gotta face the Okus, the, the Yukos, and the Tenchis today. They got all the big hitters taking names in this tournament. Showing that all you need is to make the opponent's health bar go red faster. Oh, here we go. Charge six, charge three A, such a tricky move to deal with, and the fake cross up for hitting Kinet. Okay, trying to jump out of that fussy setup, but oh, Aquatic just landing some crazy Oki and pressure right here. The Aurora is over a miss, so he can't really get the pick up, and I think Kinet's gonna be able to pick that up, and he just barely holds on to take that game. Okay. Nice pressure in the air from Kenneth. Keeping Aquatic air blocking. Now he's got the opening. It's the crush. Oh, drops the combo, but drop combos from Tenchi. Those are just resets. Oh, and it keeps going. And it doesn't stop. It Here it goes again. Face was out another BE. Oh, but that 6A is going to be with punished. Kenneth's just not letting Aquatic play. Finally back to neutral. Aquatic getting that 2C. Oh, but he gets caught on the back dash by that 6, by that 2, that stray laser. Okay, the Hankeki from Kennet trying to keep the momentum on his side. This time's the laser, but he could get close to crush here. Gets it, and this should be the round. Hey, yep. Kennet to take game one over Aquatic. Oh, counter hit J2C. Oh man, this hurts. Okay, 2.9 and the reset. Kenneth is gonna go for some more, but Aquatic fights his way out of the corner here. There it airs. Crush. And it's a knockdown. Kenneth's doing really well against Aquatic. Showing very good character control right now. Oh, but here's a 6-6-A from Aquatic. He's gonna do something now. Diamond Dust. Okay. I think Aquatic could easily bring this back here if he gets things going right. Oh, he doesn't finish the combo. That's a huge drop. Especially if you're in racing where Diamond Dust is pretty much your best weather. 6-6-C though. Still no knockdowns. Here it airs. Doesn't get the jump 8-A. Kenneth has the corner. Pressure. Aquatic holding on. Not board escaping, getting crushed, just blocking too much. Even though you don't want to just spam board escapes, you can't just sit there. You're going to just fall apart. You're going to lose your spirit eventually. Air to airs. Can it? Just keeping that air pressure going, but Aquatic finds the jump A. Charge 3A again. Hitting. Gets the card to connect, but not enough to kill just yet. 
And Kenneth's gonna have a big combo opportunity here. Hey, hey, okay. One good hit away for both sides. That's a crush! And it's gonna be enough for Kenneth to steal game round one right here. Ooh, big 6A. It's a knockdown for Kenneth. Pressure time. It continues. It does not stop. Racing's gonna enjoy this corner. Okay, good forward PE on the 6A. Kenneth was not ready, and he's gonna get knocked down. Aquatic trying to get something going here. 6A CH. Another knockdown. Does not get the Oki. It's caught on the back dash, but not combo with the opportunity this time, but Kenneth. Oh, doesn't get that pickup. Aquatic being a little bit aggressive against those two Cs, not really grazing or punishing. Blocks on Giki, though. This is big punish. Okay, but can't get the Oki, gets the 3A. Oh, the wake up 60 to me, 236 from Kenneth. LRE? Oh, he actually drops the pickup on the LRE. World's easiest combo. Not able to be performed by Aris. That's a huge missed opportunity. Hope he does not get tilted over that one. It might just be over. We'll see. That's the crush for guaranteed. Oh, no, not quite. He orders. Miscounted the orbs there. This is enough, yes. And that is game as Kenneth takes it to zero over Aquatic. <laughs>
Yeah. When you're gonna talk about the Oki in this matchup, what... Have you seen what Moria's been doing to Raisin players in this event? Salki is also susceptible to the same sort of bullying in the corner when it comes to Spear Bloom setup, so... This will be very swingy. This is a matchup where Ichiren, where basically Sakia wins neutral, but as soon as she knocks, gets knocked down, this can turn around, it'll turn around very fast. Basically up to Ichiren to uh, avoid letting Yuyuko play as much as possible. But yeah, here we are in Winner's Finals. And Zoku Saturday 237, let's get it. Ooh. Moria with a win in round one here before I can even get started commentating. That was a pretty close. Like I said, like, it's a very, very swingy matchup. Oh, he crouches under the J6A cross and he's like, yeah, you can't hit me. I, I'm Sakuya. I don't exist when I hit the down button. <laughs> Laser, big damage. Man, Moria's just doing so much in his conversions. Atrian just not getting a chance to play yet. That's going to be a conversion again. Doesn't get the J6A. Okay, Atrian's going to get a chance. Like I said. Oh, the call out from full screen. Okay, Atrian. We got some insane plays over here on both sides. And suddenly, like I said, the swing has happened. And now it's Atrian's game to win. <laughs> Oh god, be careful in the air. Did not have any spirit. You gotta watch the air unblockable! Yep, that's it. Oh, man. That tech was just not a good idea. And Etrian's gonna fall in game one to Moria. Go. Nice JTA conversions. Uh, Etrian just controlling the corner. Oh, frame trap. No tech from Moria. The pressure continues. Moria blocks the J2A. And he's out, but not quite. And yeah, featuring all over him. It's really hard for Yuyuko to compete with Sakya in neutral. Like, she just does not have the buttons sometimes. But gets that big J2A, and suddenly it's Moria's turn. And Moria making the best out of his turn, just like Ichiren did just a few seconds ago. Things are going to look bad. Okay, the Hangeki from Ichiren saving his ass from that pressure. Another frame trap, though. Ichiren in control. Catching the border escape with that preemptive 3A. Oh, but he can't get the conversion. The huge drop. The heavy fog is online. J2A. No conversion, but gets the counter at 6A, and suddenly Moria has taken the health lead. Pressure. Forward BE. Oh, gets the punish on that 62-3-63. And that's a big amount of chip damage on the Etrian. Etrian now down to 10 HP and the call out with the laser. Moria taking the round. Oh, catching the, J the 2A to crush right here, going under the J5A. Good stuff. And Moria on the hunt. Already, Ichiren very close to death. He gets the J6A right there. He's trying to make something happen, but he has no spirit. He's got to hold back. Moria just running it. Okay, nice J6A. Ichiren, he's in control. Oh, can't get the Oki. That's a huge misplay from Ichiren. And now he's got to deal with this corner pressure, but he Hangekis immediately. Knockdown. River missed on the clock. Be careful. Okay, that catch on the BE from Moria, and now Moria just needs one good hit. Etrian can just hit private for, for, for yep, that's gonna be avoid the explosion, but now gets the 6 6 He's not gonna be able to finish this combo because of the way he got hit right there, but he is out of danger for now. Oh, but that 6 c just lingering, and that's going to be the end of the set. This Moria... Still continuing his steamroll of Soku Saturday.
Victoria speed running right now. Soak me Saturday, any percent. <laughs> Yeah, Moria just looking like he cannot be touched today. But Etrian will have another shot. But next is going to be Pichu versus Kenateyu, which will be very, very interesting. Pichu has been playing amazingly today. But so has Kenet. So, I mean, anything can happen here. Pichu and Conet. Yeah, this has been a pretty good turn so far. Yeah, I'm sorry about the time mix up with the Soki set today. You know, it just, uh, Things happened. I wanted to get Soku Saturday done today, even though I couldn't do it at the normal time. So it was rather so I'd rather like, you know what, I wanna get an early Soku set instead of no Soku set. So we got the early. And so far, I mean, it's been going pretty well. The European players have been enjoying the better time for them, I'm assuming. I guess we're not quite ready yet. Gonna be a border duel next week. April 2nd. Look forward to it. The announcement at the end of the stream. Okay. And then we are live here. Pichu versus Kenneth and the player names are swap. Go. So yeah, all French losers semis. Only one will prevail, and the winner of this will play against Ichiren. Will it be Kenneth or will it be Pichu? Oh, here we go. This is a high, high damage matchup. You got the highest damage in the game against the second highest damage in the game. Oh, he trades with the 6 6 a Say he's alive, but things not looking good for Pichu. He's got a lot of work to make up. And Kenneth trying to burn as much Heavy Fog time as he can because he does not want to give Pichu a chance to recover any HP. But he runs right into the 4A. And now Pichu is just one... Or two good hits away from tying this up. Okay, goes for the dial A3 to get the knockdown. Oh, but he can't finish the combo. B, B he's out. He's got the advantage now. Conan's in a very bad spot with the immediate jump A. And Pichu's somehow still alive, but oh my gosh. The jump A chase down from Kenneth, and that's going to be the round. Oh, for, far A. Dang, can it controlling the corner? Pichu's got to try to get escape, but it gets caught by the six two three. Can it, of course, doesn't have the level, so we can't get the full conversion off of it quite yet. But Pichu already taking a lot of damage from that sequence. And here we go again. Oh, Mr. dropping the just jump cancel. That's Pichu's turn. 
Oh, so much damage. And the resets. Ken is just not gonna let Pikachu off lightly when he gets hit. Nice block! Oh, Pikachu's gonna love this. Raw Giga Flare! Oh my gosh! Is that. Oh, like 5,014 damage. Not quite enough to kill, but suddenly it's a different game. One hit situation. BE from Pichu. Oh, he tries to dash, but right into the Kenneth's boot, and that's going to be the round. Kenneth takes game number one. And that's going to... be... Pichu just, you know, struggling to get away from this Tenchi. You know, just... When it comes to just doing damage, there's uh, one of the few characters that can just blow, fight blow for blow with Tenchi. I mean, blow, fight blow for blow with Oku is just Tenchi, you know. You have to respect her as much as you respect Oku. Because everything just hurts. I was just... Casually just doing 3k damage combos off of your 4 mid midscreen. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Those counter hits were dangerous, but Pete Kenneth did not cancel into the 6B. That would have definitely been enough to kill from the starter. Kenneth just destroying Pichu this round. Okay, knockdown for Kennet. Has the corner, but gotta expect the Spring Haze. He should just drop, pop in that card to get some of that pressure off of him. Oh, and no whiff, but no full combo from Kennet, but the pressure is still on. Border escape. Oh, that jump A just killing that P36. Okay, and Diamond does knockdown for Pichu. Kennet was mashing on Wake Up, and he's gonna die for it. Ooh. He had the card, he thought Pichu would let respect it, but Pichu did not care, and it ended up working out. Did not want to play that mind game, just went for the meaty, and it... Now he's got to play that game again, this time Kennedy blocks, and he's gonna eat that charge 6A into another knockdown. Okay, Pichu in a pretty decent spot here, 3A going to definitely win that trade. Kennet slowly, surely losing the HP. This time, Pichu is baiting out that 3 card. He knows that if he actually baits it out, he gets Giga Flare and he wins the game. So, oh, great anti-air from Kennet. He knew that jump A was coming down. Pichu has a reversal of his own, and both are going to have to respect each other. Oh, nice footsies from Kennet. He got the shimmy on him. Okay, here's the setup. Doesn't get the timing right. Oh, both sides playing extra respectful. Giga Flare in play. And so is that three card. Oh, he tried to charge that joint. I think he's over. Yep. No, just barely not enough. Kenneth has one, needs one hit, but Pichu, he's got the Hail Mary ready in his hand. Oh, but Kenneth just rings out the Fari. <laughs> he saw the dash coming. He threw that joint back. He just clocked him in the head with the rock. He's dead. <laughs> Blunt force trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Violence <laughs> and Pichu. This run will end. He will take fourth, and Kennet will move on. That w it was a good run, but it looks like Pichu will be denied his rematch. So, Etrian versus Kenateu in Losers Finals. Blood force trauma. <laughs> I mean, what do you? What happens when you take a giant rock and just smash someone over the noggin with it? <laughs> that far A is pretty brutal.
Okay, so let's go. They're already in. They're already in match. Kenneth versus Ichirin. Losers finals. Silky Saturday two three seven. Please note, <laughs> props made of foam. <laughs> I mean, isn't Tenchi's sword made out of, like, temperament or something? Okay. Getting that rehost ready. Okay, here we are. Annette, Eatrian, Losers Finals. This is still a best of three. Oh, the sun shower, you gotta guess. You gotta guess, more resets. Kenneth's not letting Eatrian play right now. And that's how you gotta do this as Tenchi. Make it as single player as possible. Doesn't get the Yoki right there, so Ethan's gonna have a chance to get something going and calls out with a jump 8A. Ooh, jump 8A again, but this causes the Typhoon in. Tennis is gonna try to run in there. He wants to get that. He wants to end this round. He's going for those J6As, but he's not connecting with them. Ethan doing a very good job of running away from Kennet. And Kennet tries to go for the three card, but does not hit anything. And Ethan's actually gonna recover some HP with the healing charm. And suddenly, it's a more even game. Oh. 6A is gonna whiff. Eatrian's turn gets the J6A. Oh, but J2C is gonna whiff. Punish. No oh, combo for Kennet. Nice movement from Eatrian to avoid the rocks. And now Eatrian suddenly in such a good spot. It looked like Kennet had this round in the bag, but this Typhoon has completely reversed this game. It's momentum. And Eatrian takes it with the 6A right there. This Healing Charm Meta's <laughs> been developing a lot recently. Ichiren's been using it, you know. It is like 1000 HP and it does mean a lot because the Guts and Soku is so strong that, you know, 1000 HP can be more than 1000 HP. Because, like I said, it, the HP you restore doesn't scale with Guts, but the damage you take is reduced with Guts. So. Oh, baited! <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are people falling for this today? <laughs> you see Sakura just turn around and put her folder arms just like, you're gonna really gonna hit the JoJo pose? <laughs> and it's struggling to get back into this game, but Kenshi does do a lot of damage. Nice jump bait, eh? Oh, missing the conversion. That would have meant a lot. Instead, he's going to eat that J6A. It's going to lead to the game. Ichiren takes the first game of Loser's Finals. Now 
nice frame traps from Adrian. Getting the first knockdown and the Oki looking clean. Can it cannot get out of this corner yet? Killing Doll is gonna make it even harder. Okay, he survives. The river is gonna make it hard for the pressure to continue. Adrian, nice pickup. Oh, but doesn't get the 63 to connect right there. A big, a crucial error. Oh man, and Kenneth is getting dominated in the neutral game right now. Been very single player. I think he can. Oh no, 60 speed not gonna connect. But you know, it's it's still all Ichiro in here. Sun shower might give Kenneth an opportunity to take get something going, but he's gotta get a hit. Gets the 6A pressure. Case in front of the BE catches another BE, and Kenneth's gonna try to start to mount his comeback. Oh, but the slap to the face from Etrian. He said, you gone got the Oki. <laughs> Slap the controller out of his hands. <laughs> and now we've got a match point situation. Big J6A here. Etrian has the positioning here, has the corner, catches the border escape. Has the knockdown and the Oki cards are ready. Another killing doll, crush. And now Kenneth is just suffering. Oh wait! The Etrin drops a combo. This is a huge opportunity for Kenneth, but he runs right into the J2A! It's gonna be another knockdown, and Etrin's got another setup ready. No, he's gonna heal instead! Wasn't he already at full HP? What's the point? It doesn't even matter as Etrin heals up, you know, just you know, heals up to full HP to to fraud perfect Kenneth. <laughs> fraud perfect. <laughs> The point is to dab. He, he just he just wanted he wanted to win with full HP. Just 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 because. <laughs> just because. Yeah, it's Etrin taking it two zero. And yeah, Kenneth's gonna go down in third. We have a grand finals rematch. So, Warrior versus Ichiren part two. That's gonna be our grand finals today. And so far, Moria has been looking pretty much invincible. Can he keep the momentum going into the grand finals? Or will Ichiren find what find a way to break through this crazy Yuyuko offense? Okay, they are ready, and so are we. Let's do this. Grand Finals gettings underway. Not Kenneth versus Etrian, this is Etrian versus Moria. Man, they're brawling in this typhoon. The crush here. Pressure. Man, Moria just dominating this neutral game so far. But wait. Oh, 2A. Woo. He's been still alive. Gets a snipe right here. This is the jump day day. 
Nice 3A. Oh, but can't get the conversion too far from the corner. Oh, and Moria just throwing out too many bullets for Etern to deal with right there. Oh, air to airs. Oh, lacrosse unders. Man, that Yuko J6A can lead to such nasty stuff, but great 3A, and each one's gonna cash out. 3.7 on that spell card combo. A lot of damage for Sakya. Ooh, the pressure continues. Each one trying to get up and away, and he does. Finds the jump A here. Nice frame trap. Knockdown. Here's Killing Doll. How's Yoki looking? Guess the 6-6-A, but the, the, doll, the knives didn't connect. The Hangeki from Moria. His turn now. Forward board escape from Ichiren. He's trying to get out of the corner, but he, you know, he's just stuck here for now. That's a reset. You gotta respect that 5-V. And here is the free E catch. Yoria has all the reads, but he just not getting the Spear Bloom set up right. Ichiren has been neutral tech high jumping every time, and it's been working out. Next time he techs forward. Yep, you still gotta get those reads against Saki, it seems. As... Oh, nice jump in A! And a round taken for Ichiren. Sakia is seems to be capable of turning this game around, you know. Nice jump out of that 2H pressure, but you know. Moria just getting the corner control that needs to take this right now. Okay, the neutral being played. Ichirin trying to get that. J6A landed. Nice 3A. Man, his anti airs have been really good so far. Been playing everything. He's been doing everything right so far. Oh, I guess 3A is going to get whiff punished there, though. Oh, that's a big 623. Misinput from Ichi, and he's going to pay for it. But the Spear Bloom, this time the pressure is right there. J2A is right back into it, and he's. Going down right there. That damage is too much when you get hit with that Sphere Bloom. Moria two games away from taking his first Soki Sad, I think? Yeah, if he wins this, this is his first Soki Sad win. With no losses too, and Memoria has been uh, just, just showcasing how good he, how much control he has over Yuko, and how good Yuko can actually be. Like this character is hasn't had a huge presence in the Western scene for such a long time, and Memoria is here just to show you us, just you know, just to remind us, you know, remember uh, Yuko is this extremely powerful character. Oh, nice jump. 8A for the air staggers on each end. And he takes a round here. The second round taken the set. Still, no one's been able to take a game off of Moria yet. Each end's come the closest. Nice 63. A2A doesn't get a combo from that one, but has pressure here. Okay. Been down about half his HP. Looking for a way in. Gets the J6A. Knockdown and pressure. Now killing Doll Oki. 6 6 feet. The Hangeki from Moria. Nice play. Going to try to chase down Ichirin, but Nasaki is hard to catch sometimes. Okay, the pressure in the corner. Ichirin just dashes under the J6A. This time Moria respects the frame trap. Gets the crush. Oh, that was really goofy. Ichiren somehow landed in front of Moria instead of behind. Frame traps with the J2A. And now Moria on the ropes. This could be the round here if he gets the crush. Nope, the border escape from Moria just in time. Nice 2A. Not going to be able to get anything from it, though. Nice backdash. Oh, but it gets caught by the 6A. Ichiren trying to get up and away. Gets the crush here, and this should be enough to kill. 
Yes, it is, and Ichirin, the first to take a game off of Moria, ending the perfect run. Nice pickup from Ichirin here. I six A. Oh, okay. <laughs> six six C. Here is the private square. Wow, he tried to two B. Okay, it's a free combo for Yuji in here. That actually drops it, but it still has the corner. Moria has made some very very risky decisions in that private square, and now he might actually lose this round for it. We'll see, though. He's not quite dead yet. He has an opportunity with this 2A. Wow, but they made a dash out from Ichirin. Ooh. Nice block. Close to crush. Gets the catch. Ichirin on the ropes now. Another just dash out. He's not taking any of this corner pressure. He doesn't have to. That low to the ground Sakia dash really helping him out. Ooh. Nice 6 to 3 to punish that 2B2C. Such a hard string to deal with, but Ichirin had the answer. That 623 is not easy to input in a pinch either. So that's some good stuff. Big J6A. That was a full combo opportunity. Decides not to burn the meter there. Okay. Nice. <laughs> From Moria. Gets the catch. Oh my gosh. Oh, doesn't get the pickup, but man, Ichirin's close to death. Hangeki from Moria. He wants to keep this momentum going. Gets the catch on the J2A. And oh, man, that's some damage. You do not want to get with that. There you go. Moria with the pressure. How many 2As is going to be? Nice jump out from Mitrian. He's been disrespecting the 2A pressures. Gets the double 63 here. Nice coin from e Moria. Getting up and around. Tried to go for the J6A. Missed it. Here's Ichirin now. 6A on Wig. He's gonna get a full conversion from it. Oh, this pressure is bad for e <laughs> Ichirin eating that Spear Bloom. And again, the J6A gets the laser to pick up, but no knockdown. And now Ichirin looking to be in a, such a tight spot now. One hit is all it's gonna take. Ichirin finds the 2B. Looking for that confirm. Not gonna get it there. Ichirin. Not gonna jump into the J6A. Moria was looking for that read. Feature and off. Oh, that laser almost doing it. Moria just needs one more hit. That's it, gonna do it. A 2A, 6A. And now, Moria, 2 1. One game away from taking this entire tournament. Will Moria be our winner today? Etrian's gonna have to make a hell of a comeback if he wants this. Nice. Getting the frame trap. Nice pressure from Etrian, but good defense from Moria right now. Oh, dash is right into the two way though, and Etrian finally opens him up. Private square time. The immediate jump on wake up from Moria. Ichiran not meeting. And you know, Moria is disrespecting it, the private square and it works out perfectly for him as now he has all this momentum. Gets the crush with the spear bloom setup and another knockdown with the sun shower. Now Ichiran's got a guess. Finds the right read here, gets out of the corner. Tries the 3A, gets the second hit. And now he's got crushes on Moria. Still no conversions and Moria's able Oh wait, no, there's a J8A. No, still no knockdown. Each is just a neutral private square. He wants this momentum. Oh no, he doesn't re remember those, those five Cs were still on the screen coming toward him. He got so hungry for the jump 8A and he ends up eating the bullet in his own private square. And that's gonna be match point, permit point for Moria now.
Here we go. Gotta be careful of that 60. Yes, it just keeps lingering on the screen as soon as you think it's going to leave. It just keeps persisting. Okay, ichiran has got the corner here. Not getting those knockdowns is very crucial. Because he can't get those killing dolls. He can't get that momentum running without those knockdowns. There's Moria working his way to cornering Ichiran gets the J2A. Two card Oki has the Sphere Bloom. Gets the J6A, J5A to hit and Ichiran is just taking into so much damage. Brought down to 1 HP and the J6A cross up is going to do it. And that is the end of Soku Saturday 237. Moria does it. DG's Moria taking Soku Set, and this is his first time winning Soku Saturday. Congratulations, Moria. Ichiran played well. But it was just not enough to stop the domination that Moria had today. He was just going all out from the word go. Just amazing offense all around. He's inspiring, man. Makes me want to play Yuko. <laughs> Why don't I play Yuko? <laughs> Why aren't we all playing Yuko? That's the real question. Okay, but now that that's over, let's get that, uh... Let's work on that BOD announcement. Okay, so... I told you before the stream started that the border of dual matchup for this month will be Iku versus Yuko. But we don't know which Iku and we don't know which Yuko, do we? And that's where it's time to reveal. Okay, so, BOD reveal, let's uh, bring up the hype again. Okay, so, any guesses before we uh, reveal this? Oh yeah. Okay, one second, one sec. I gotta set up the scene. Okay, so. The Border of Duel for April will be. Uh. Where's my logo? Where's, where's my poster? It didn't show up. I spoiled it without the poster. Here we go. That's not. That's the wrong poster. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought I changed it. Okay. There we go. It is the bomb versus Moria. <laughs> we got Iku versus Yuyuko. And ah, uh, what's sure to be a very exciting and high level matchup. Damn, who could have seen this happen? 
God, it was going to be the return of Ranzel. But yes, the bomb making his return to the BOD stage after like two years ago when he like lost like 10 9 to Raindrop. He's going to try to win this time. And Moria, you know, he just kind of bursted onto the scene last year and he's been taking everybody's names. And now he's got a chance to be on Border Duel. Oh. You know, he's, he's going to make it, he's try, starting to make a name for himself. You think this is going to be his opportunity? Well, we'll see. It's going to be a good one. So yeah, April 2nd at 2.30, I'm going to be commentating with Dan Brew. We're going to have some fun. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the uh, Soku news today. Let's see if I can throw it to another stream and, uh, you know, end it off on a raid. Let's look for, let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, so the Brazilian Soku community is running their tournament still. I'm going to throw it right over to them so because they're not done yet. So, yeah. We're going to raid Genso Arena. Anyone know how to say Soku Squad in, in uh, Portuguese? Because I don't. <laughs> Soku Squad for me. Okay, see y'all later.